Hello and welcome to my video lecture uh, on the XAM control panel. Uh, this slide shows you uh, what the XAM control panel looks like uh, on a PC. Um, and here are the buttons associated with that. Here I already have my XAM control panel started. Uh, depending on your environment, you might want to start this using um, the uh, Depending on your environment, any of the any of the software that you're using might need to be run as an administrator. Uh, in this case, this is my computer. I am the administrator of it. Um, but in some classroom environments, you may have to run it as an administrator. In this case, I've got uh, Apache running. It's the first option here. I can click stop. <coughs> and that stops my server. Uh, when my Apache web server is not running, I cannot uh, process HTML, uh, I cannot process PHP code because PHP code is a server side, um, is a server side language um, that's processed on the server. Uh, and uh, if I don't have the server running, I can't process uh, HTML on my local server. Um, so I need my Apache uh, server running. Uh, and later on in the course, um, we're going to be using uh, the MySQL uh, database um, management system. Uh, so you can click start here. Uh, or we can go up and click on this config. And uh, when you click on that config uh, button, we can click on Apache and MySQL to auto start. So as soon as we start up um, our uh, server, uh, our XAMP software, it will automatically start the Apache server and the MySQL server. Little note here, uh, hopefully you don't have MySQL uh, running or installed on your computer. Uh, the XAMP uh, software, when you install it on your computer, installs MySQL. Uh, if you already had MySQL installed uh, on your computer at home, uh, you're going to run into some issues with uh, conflicts, right? Um, the, uh, if you install it twice, you're going to have two different instances of MySQL servers. Uh, things can get confusing at that point. Uh, I would strongly suggest that if you had MySQL and you weren't using it for anything, uh, to install the previous version of MySQL. If you already have MySQL installed on your computer and you're going to download and install XAMPP, just realize that there are going to be issues um, and that uh, perhaps you don't want to start up this MySQL instance and, and use your MySQL instance, uh, which if you've downloaded it and you're running MySQL, you should already know uh, how to reference your own instance of your MySQL server. Enough said. So I'm going to click Save uh, in the configuration. So now if I close XAMPP, and then I go to my desktop because I've set up a, uh, a shortcut on my desktop. If I double click this, as it starts up, it automatically starts up uh, the MySQL and the Apache uh, web server, which is nice. Uh, the other thing is if, if you want to manage your MySQL, which again, we're going to deal with uh, later, there's the admin button. Uh, when you click that, that'll start the PHP MyAdmin software in a browser window uh, that you'll be able to uh, um, administer to it, uh, create tables, create users, etc. Uh, so for now, you leave this running. Uh, so if you have a server, uh, you should always have this running. Whenever you're doing your development, one of the first things you should do is start up your, your XAM control panel. Uh, so now with that running, I can run um, any of my, my, my projects on my local host as, using the local host as my web server. So again, that's how you start it up uh, to start or stop uh, Apache or MySQL. Um, here's a little uh, example of how XAMPP is a free open source web server package. Uh, it'll download uh, Apache MySQL and interpreters for PHP. Um, it's easily installed and it's available on just about every uh, platform. And again, that's what the X is for. The X stands for uh, cross-platform. So directories for PHP app on, on your local server. So again, we installed XAMPP. So XAMPP is going to be uh, where the server got installed. Uh, htdocs is document root directory. Uh, so that's where your htdocs are going to be. Uh, and then uh, we are eventually going to have our guitar store 
um, application. Uh, so that's the application root directory. And then we're going to have uh, our files associated with that application broken down and organized into subfolders underneath Guitar Store. And we'll learn how to reference uh, those files that way. Um, so if we look at the structure for how the book apps are set up and the EX starts, uh, under XAMP we have our HT docs, and again we should have copied all of our book, we should have copied the book apps and the EX starts and the EX solutions to our HT docs uh, folder. So when I look at that, again when you uh, initially unzip the zip file from the author's website, uh, you're going to get the PHP MySQL uh, installed in uh, the C Murac folder by default. And then you're going to have your PHP MySQL, and then you're going to have htdocs, which is going to have your book apps, uh, your EX solutions, and your EX starts. I have these three folders because I have the uh, instructor version of the files. So you should copy the book apps, the EX solution, and the EX starts to your XAMP. So your C, local disk C, XAMP, HT Docs folder, you should now have your book apps, your EX solutions, and your EX starts. And then you can run them from there. Um, so that's what this, uh, the structure, the, the file and folder tree structure looks like. Um, and then uh, I think I'll get into that, uh, another topic in a different um, uh, in a different video lecture. So for here, if I wanted to bring in uh, into NetBeans, um, I can uh, again click to add. Uh, so here's my book apps. So now if I wanted to do uh, the EX starts, I can go into EX starts. Uh, those don't really happen until chapter two, but there are my chapter two uh, files. And then I've got my EX solutions. Um, inside of book apps, I've got my chapter two future values. So all of my files are in here, all the way down through chapter 24, which hopefully we'll get to uh, through the course of this course. And that is the end, end of my video lecture on um, XAMP and the control panel and how it all works.